Hey, I'm Lon Harris from Mahalo Daily, and when most people think of barbecue, they don't really think of L.A. unless we're thinly slicing it on pizza or wrapping it in seaweed. But today I'm here on Santa Monica Beach to uh, check out the L.A. Barbecue Fest, see if we can't find some really delicious tasting barbecue right here in the City of Angels. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty hungry, so let's go check it out. The practice of barbecuing as we know it started in the pre-Civil War South, where semi-wild pigs were a popular food source. When a pig would be slaughtered, the whole neighborhood would come out to celebrate, drink, and share in the spoils. Though the actual origin of the word is uncertain, it has been suggested that it could reference eating some pork while going to the bar for a beer in a game of pool. bar beer cue. So okay, it's a southern thing. LA's not exactly known far and wide for great barbecue. But there's no reason the city couldn't be the next barbecue mecca. After all, it's warm outside 12 months a year here. So uh, we're at Gus's Barbecue, and I noticed you guys have bricks on top of the chicken. What, what is the concept there? Uh, what we do is we've got a 100% natural uh, boneless chicken. They debone it, and then we go ahead and smoke it for about an hour with hickory and applewood. And then we take it here and we finish it up on the charcoal with bricks to really kind of even the, promote even cooking and, um, and kind of keep the skin in contact with the grill to really get a real crispy outer layer. You need any special kind of bricks or just stop by a construction site on your way here, pick up a few? That's a good way to do it. This would be my famous Coca-Cola barbecue brisket that I developed and it's probably the best in, uh, in the country. It actually has Coca-Cola poured on it. Coca-Cola in, in, uh, in the sauce. All right, we're here with Brian. He's from the Southside Market in Elgin, Texas. So you guys have come a long way to be here today. We did. Drove straight through about 29 hours. Wow, and you're in town just to bring people your famous uh, sausages? That's it. Yeah. This is really, really delicious. I know you can't enjoy it out in the internet, but that's really too bad for you. What exactly is the marinade we're putting on these? It tastes kind of sweet, maybe a little citrusy almost? It's a dry rub. We use 19 herbs and spices, a little brown sugar. So that gives us sweetness. We marinate it in the dry rub and we slow smoke it over apple and hickory. And then the sauce has a little bit of a kick too. And how do you stand over this thing for more than two seconds without tearing up and closing your eyes in pain? That's the secret? Beer. Ugh. Just keep shooting, man. Just keep, get all of my abject humiliation. I noticed you have goggles on. That's a good idea, because I was standing over there by one of the pits and my eyes, I could not keep my eyes open. You know, that smoke is real bad uh, this time of weather, yeah. and it's really getting in my eyes real bad, but uh, I'm going to make it, man. I'm going to make it. The other guy said beer was the secret to your eyes not watering while you're cooking with the smoke. I don't know about the beer. So you guys have by far the largest line here. I've been around the whole place. Sounds great. Uh, we appreciate the people recognizing and us, yeah. and we try to do the best I can at getting the best ribs possible. Yes. Sir. What What is the secret to your ribs? What makes them so much better? Well, we just do uh, a lot of patience and a lot of good hickory smoking. What would you say is the secret to great barbecue? If you could give our viewers one secret. Wood. Don't cheat. You know, low and slow. <laughs> Use real wood. Uh, start with smoking and uh, a good rub. Also a tip for a relaxing evening at home, smoking in a good rub. The ultimate tip I'd say honestly is uh, I would go low and, sl low and slow. I know you know you hear that all the time, but it really is true. You just gotta smoke it at the lowest possible heat to tenderize it as much as you can. That's it really is, it's an age-old adage, but it's there for a reason. What did you try here at the Barbecue Fest? Well, so far we've had uh, two different uh, samplings of brisket. Parisi's Pit was phenomenal. Also right behind us where you see the huge line for LC's Barbecue. The ribs there, which these two gentlemen are enjoying right now, absolutely amazing as well. The beer, can't, can't say enough about the beer today. Also didn't realize how much honky-tonk music goes along with uh, barbecue. Going downtown. Yeah, it's kind of standard, industry standard. All right. Well. It's that or French techno. <laughs> uh, well, we'll go with the honky tonk then. Yeah. For more information, go to mahalo.com slash barbecue. So I think I've about had my fill of barbecue. I'm going to grab me a $4 Culver City brownie and then head up the beach to the LA and Acid Festival. If you liked what you saw, be sure to rate and subscribe to our videos. I'm Lon Harris. We'll see you next time on Mahalo Daily. It's Robert Scoble. Robert Scoble's here at the LA Barbecue Fest. Thank you so much for joining us.